Everything in existence rotates and oscillates. Each object has a unique primary resonance frequency and every frequency generates a particular shape. By identifying the prime resonance frequency of an object, whether it be a bacterium or an atom, one can manipulate the object to one's desire. This concept of prime resonance frequency is present in many ancient cultures, such as Christianity, Hinduism, and the original people of Australia, who all have their interpretation of the creation story. Christianity refers to it as the word, while Hinduism considers it the mantra. The Egyptians believe that the universe was brought into existence through song, and the original people of Australia with their three sacred songs. These beliefs all share remarkable similarities, including the six days of creation in Christianity and the six aspects of Ra and the Eye of Horus. Sound and the resulting resonance is the key factor in the creation of all things. As it manifests physical form, one can observe how different frequencies create different shapes. However, the shapes we see are only two-dimensional representations of the three-dimensional effect caused by the prime resonance frequency. The creation story of the original people of Australia involves the awakening of supernatural beings that broke through the Earth's surface and created the world with three sacred songs. This story is documented in Hans Jenny's book, Cymatics, which features images of powder forming intricate landscapes as a result of sound waves. Mountains, valleys and volcanoes can all be created over extended periods of time through the sound of the Earth. According to Michael Tallinger, a researcher, explorer and internationally acclaimed author, with numerous books and dozens of lectures available on YouTube, it's evident that the creators of religious symbols were aware of the role sound played in the creation of the universe. Sound is the source of creation and with it, it is possible to understand how the world's geographical topology and even the Earth itself came to be. Since sound is the origin of creation, it can do practically everything one could imagine. This also brings us to the usage of sound as a tool in technology. Sound generates light, as illustrated by God saying, let there be light. This could also be observed by attaching a speaker to an LED light. Royal Raymond Reif discovered that sound and resonance, when converted to electrical impulses, had potential to heal illnesses. It's still incredible how sound continues to amaze us. However, Michael Tellinger claims this is not how ancient people levitated massive objects. According to him, it would have been a unique technique using pressure waves to create levitation. Anyhow, it provides us with the ability to conceive that sound has the power to levitate. Sound may even prevent hurricanes from happening and Andrew Waxminsky even patented a sound-based method in 2003 with that intent. This is where we begin to grasp the concepts of the real masters and it's difficult to deny the astonishing contributions of Nikola Tesla. He said, If you want to find out the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. This quote perfectly sums up everything that has been discussed here so far. Everything revolves around sound and magnetism, which is critical to note. As God said, let there be light, sound is the agent that sets it in motion. Sound generates electromagnetic fields and the movement of oil fields creates magnetism with toroidal fields. Moving magnetic fields produce electricity. This is the sequence of events. Everything must have a magnetic field in some way, shape or form, and if not, there must be a particular reason why it does not. Water, graphite, aluminum and glass may not seem magnetic, but they actually are. Aluminum and oxygen are examples of paramagnetic substances, 
which are attracted to magnets. Liquid oxygen, for instance, can be seen sticking to a magnet. Other examples of paramagnetic substances are gadolinium oxide and cupric sulfate, which can also be picked up by a magnet. A decade ago, a picture of an electron was taken. It appears as a resonant wave rather than a particle, yet it is referred to as an electron. Nikola Tesla held the view that matter is statically charged and did not believe in the concept of atomic theory or the existence of an electron. This contrasts with the mainstream scientific fraternity, which, he believed, was misleading people by propagating untruths. As per Tallinger's interpretation, Einstein had similar thoughts about electrons, stating that electrodynamic theory alone cannot account for their nature. The concept of the electron and atomic structure has been vehemently opposed by a group of scientists, inventors and researchers for over 200 years. Tellinger claims that the acceptance of these concepts in educational institutions and society at large is due to the belief in the intelligence and the honesty of those teaching them. Stone circles may actually be representations of cymatic patterns that result from the sound frequency emitted by the Earth at a specific point. Some of these cymatic patterns are on metal plates, but many of them are in the form of stones. Some of the structures are giant magnetrons, such as the flower-shaped stone circles. A magnetron 40 meters in diameter, for instance, can generate more energy than all the power plants on Earth combined. Southern Africa has thousands of these magnetrons which generate incredible amounts of energy that have been measured through the detection of sound frequencies, electromagnetic fields, loudness and decibels. Adam's calendar is the most powerful of all the ancient stone circles, collecting the energies created by millions of other stone circles that seem to send their frequencies to it. The toroidal effect that is present at Adam's calendar is detectable even today. As one gazes upon the ancient structures erected from stone, it becomes apparent that the builders possessed a profound understanding of the material's unique properties. The stone was not merely a building block. It held within it a vast capacity for information storage and was an energy source unto itself. The erectors of these structures were not foolish or primitive, quite the opposite. They were exceedingly intelligent. In contrast, according to Tallinger, we modern humans are the true dullards, yet we may be rapidly catching up. Tallinger also claims to have evidence that the pyramids, Ouroboros, and similar constructions are not mere structures but ancient machines of a colossal scale composed of crystalline substances in stone and constructed to execute particular functions functions that we have yet to decipher. He states that these machines were powered by the sound of the Earth and activated by the Sun's movement, a breathtakingly brilliant design, both simple and effective. We may currently be coming to grips with these designs, as the energies that they generate would still be resonant today. Dellinger says this is proven by the vast energy emanating from the pyramids evidenced by photographs. Even the reconstructed Stonehenge is believed to generate powerful symmetrical patterns, indicating that it was originally created as an energy device, a resonating device. Furthermore, all of these ancient machines would merely be advanced technology on a vast scale, as exemplified by the obelisks of Egypt. These obelisks are said to ring like bells and, when observed from certain angles, appear to be more than just pillars. Tallinger says these temples in Egypt are not mere places of worship. Rather, they are enormous energy circuits or circuit boards. The scale of these circuits is beyond our comprehension as they were constructed using macro processes that we could never replicate. 
The pyramids too were massive powerhouses designed to generate vast amounts of energy. In essence, the ancient history that we know of is a circuit board of gigantic proportions. It is not a mere fortress atop a mountain erected to repel attackers. It is a veritable work of art designed to produce energy of an unprecedented scale. As we continue to study these marvels of architecture, we gain ever greater insight into the sophistication of our forebears. Michael Tallinger has gained recognition as an authority on the ancient vanished civilizations of southern Africa, the mysterious origins of humankind, resonance, cymatics and the power of sound. His research covers a diverse range of subjects including archaeology, mythology, religion, the origins of money and spirituality. He is also the founder of the Ubuntu Liberation Movement, which promotes unity and higher consciousness. If you, like us, are fascinated by the mysteries of the unseen world, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos and discoveries.